Hello and welcome back to your boys the boy. Now on this one today we have uh, a copy carburetor. Uh, what's your views on them? Do you like them? Do you use them? Do you loathe them? Uh, are they any good? So let's go and have a look at this copy carburetor that I bought. Right, I bought this copy carburetor. Uh, because I had a hate to lawnmower which I had problems with and when I saw this online um, it is a copied one it's come all the way from China it's taken a couple of weeks to get here now before I tell you how much I actually paid for it now this is for a quantum uh, carburetor now it came in very good packaging really I have to say it also comes with the o-ring and a new gasket as well and this is all included on the postage price as well so it does feel a lot lighter than the quantum carburetors uh, it does have some scratches there so i might might flatten that down i don't know it does have a very small burr in there but i don't think that's going to make much difference because once the um, o-ring is inside it Let's get that out. It's well, it's going to miss it, so it don't really matter. So if there is a little burr in there, I mean, you could, I could get some little bit of sandpaper in it. Just take that little burr away. I mean, looking at the quantum, it's completely. There's no no difference from the other one. So I'll get the old one, and I'll show you what the difference is on it. All right. So okay. There is the. Uh, now this one is a lot heavier in material wise like the, the weight of it, it is heavier aluminium to what this is so i mean you're looking at the pair of those like that really there's no difference in there i mean even on the top of them i mean this one's got an aluminium fuel nozzle and this one's got a brass intake one even this bit here this one's got a hole inside there this one hasn't there are some differences on oh, this bit here is slightly different so that's been to me that is sort of weight saving but this one here has got the little bit on the side there this one isn't but if I turn them around this side There's, there's, there's really no difference inside them at all. They've both got the uh, little intake jets there. This one's got a little intake there, which is slightly different to that one. That one's got just got a right round hole. This is the genuine one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off and we'll have a look inside. All right, so okay, this is the inside of it. We'll take this off. And we'll have a look inside here. Now this has got a brass. Slightly different from what the... Go inside here a little bit, that's it. It's got a brass needle seat in that one. And on these ones, they've got a rubber seat. But the needle seat on this one, or the needle I should say, has got a rubber tip. Instead of the rubber being inside like that one. So that one sits in there. But what I want to do, I mean, you look at the inside of it, really, between the two of them, there is no no difference whatsoever, really. But this one's a lot lighter. It's put, made with cheaper. How long it'll last, I don't know. But what I want to do is, I just want to see if that fits in, in there nicely, just to see yeah no problem with that whatsoever so what do you think would you use them even in there's vir there is no virtually no difference whatsoever just apart from it's made from cheaper material 
and it's lighter and if I take the, the rubber off of that and put that bow onto there so you're, and that fits on there very nicely as well so let's put this back together and I will put it onto a mower which takes this little mower uh, this car brush I should say and we'll see um, how it runs Right, okay, so we're going to put this back on. Well, not put it back on, but put the new one on, I should say. I just took the old one off. Okay. And we we'll put the fuel pipe on. Yeah, it's already got a rubber inlet on that already. So we get that into there. Don't want to over talk them because it's a slightly different alley in it. So uh, let's get this clip back onto the fuel. Crimp that off. Make sure it's on properly. And we let go of that. And then we'll we see if there's any leaks first of all. So we give that a couple of minutes. nothing coming out out of there at the moment oh there is there's something leaking here let's give that it might be because the the hose is perished it don't look too good this hose I think it's going to need a new bit of hose. I have got some. So I'm going to go, go and put a new hose on this bit. Well, I didn't have to change the hose. I just turned it around. Um, but I will, once I put the old carburetor back on, then I, I will um, change it. I've got to find the, the actual new hose. So it ain't leaking at the moment. nothing there leaking whatsoever all right so I'm going to put everything back on to so take it outside and then we'll give it a go all right so you can see that it's got the uh, the new carburetor still on uh, I've given it the prime so which one to give it a start so let's pump some more fuel in saw that it did work took a couple of poles uh, a bit more priming to get the fill into it but it's it, um, yes it did work it went on all right uh, the only thing it had to do is the two screws that are in there that wasn't tapped so that self tapped those into there because it was nice soft alley uh, and it worked all right so what do you think would you use it or would you not use would you trust them now for the price of it uh, a brand new one uh, genuine Briggs and Stratton is it's about thirty-eight pounds. This one cost me four pound ninety-five, including postage. Now, for even for a quick fix, I would use them. Yes, I would. Uh, if it's going to get someone out of trouble, yes, I would use it. And it all depends what they want to use. Do they want a cheap one, or would they spend thirty-five or thirty-eight pounds on a new one, original one? It's up to them, isn't it? Anyway. If you like this video, please 
give us a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe hit that little grey bell down the bottom and uh, that's all there is on to this one until next time cheerio